Good morning, hello. My name is Daniel. This is the Triathlon Dan YouTube channel. I'm here this morning at We Buy Cycle in Derby with Jono. Good morning, Jono. Thank you for morning. your time today. Now, I am actually on the way out of here. However, this bike caught my eye and I've managed to twist Jono's arm to do a video about it because what on earth? I mean, eye-catching is definitely a word I would use for that, Jono. Cool, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it's very cool. Trek have a Project One series and I'm assuming that this is a Project One bike. Surely somebody's ordered this. It's not off the shelf like this. Project One. Oh, there you go, yeah. So somebody's gone in with a colour book and said, I want all the colours, please. He's walked in with a 90s tie-dye t-shirt yeah. straight out of a Digbeth rave. <laughs> Before my time, mate. Birmingham. Um, so tell us a little bit about this then. So it's a Trek Madone. What spec is it? How old is it? Is it new? Is it used? So, interestingly, it is used in inverted commas, but the chap who sold it to us just wanted the new one. So he's obviously bought this and the new one's been brought out and then he wants the new one. I think it's just a guy who loves Trek. Yeah. We've got a few of those, truth be told, we've got a few returning customers who are just mad Trek fans. Mm -hmm. um, That's great. So Can you get few. them to be like six foot two instead of yeah, like I know. I, frame? To be, be honest with you, this, for both of us, wouldn't it? If this, yeah, if this was a 56, yeah. <laughs> um, I think I really like on this Madonna SLR, this new one, this front end is really mm. cool. The integrated... Uh, handlebar on it. I like the way it sweeps back. Yeah. I think it just looks really nice. Is that a flared bar? Is that, is that, it, looks like, it, looks like, it looks like it's got an ever so slight flare on it. Yeah. I don't actually know, but I would suggest with it being more it's modern. It's a tiny bit, doesn't it? More modern kind of geometry on those bars, it'll mm -hmm. have a flare for sure. It's got the built in Garmin mountain as well that probably cost you no end of money to get from yeah. track. You've got a really nice cap, just making yeah. it clean there. Apparently, they had to re engineer this or reprint it, I suppose, mm -hmm. and make, because it was, on the first iteration, it was rattling ever so slightly and annoying <laughs> people. Well, this, that's what the chap who sold it to us told me anyway. Mm -hmm. so that's version two cap, mm -hmm. apparently. Okay, so the Madone was the aero bike in the range, wasn't it? So the Amanda yeah. was the climbing bike, this yeah. was the aero bike, and now they've... Amalgamated they the two. Yeah, into made one Climbing Super Duper bike. race bike, okay. which is the most expensive bike at the Tour de France this year, wow. apparently. So I was reading on, was it Cycling Week mm -hmm. who did that? Okay, know, which that essentially article. it looks like one of these, but just smaller, doesn't it? Yeah, smaller <laughs> tubes, so yeah. slightly lighter, yeah. Yeah, okay. So integrated seat post, so you have to you have to quit seat post down. Yeah, well, it depends where you want to yeah. be, really, on that. The, I'm assuming there'll be some sort of cutting on it if you wanted to take it any I lower. That looks brand new, it's still got a warning stick on it. Yeah. Yeah, so the SLR is the top spec frame as well, isn't it? And this, the guy who had this with absolutely no expense spared, he's got mm. the absolute black oh, yeah. brake pads in there as well. Mm -hmm. um, you'd, have, you'd have thought really it needs to be due a race, but Ultegra's good enough. It's that good, isn't it? The, yeah, yeah, it really is. It really is. If you're spending so much money on the, the frame and everything else with it, you don't, perhaps don't need the the Dura Ace sticker on it. When yeah, but it's an SLR. Imagine Dura Ace on that, it'd be unbelievable. <laughs> Very good. Uh, would you buy one of these in a bigger size? Um, no. Would you not? Do you know why? Yeah, you want something Italian. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'd probably buy a Colin again. Yeah. <laughs> Got it. I think I'd buy the Amanda, to be honest, over one of these. Yeah. Just because of where we live and where we ride. But yeah. I just don't like, I'm not a massive fan of this. Mm -hmm. Not because of anything structural, I just think the aesthetic of it, I like clean lines. Yeah. Although it does look nice and it flows with the frame, I just, mm -hmm. I don't know, it's not but for me. This, I think, is a true, like, it's a true Marmite bike, isn't it? Like, you, if you're watching this, you either, let us know down below, you either love that or you hate it. I love it. Would I love it enough to spend thousands of pounds on? I think it's a bit, bit too much yellow on it for me. If it's a bit more bluey and purpley, maybe. But um, somebody will snap that up, and you're not going to rock up at a cafe and have somebody pull up next to you on the same bike, are you? So, awesome. Nice one. Well, thank you very much for sharing me that, John. How much no is that retail, retail at the minute? I'm not sure what we've got on the website. I think we're around <laughs> 7K it. on it, to be okay. fair. Which is fair, to be honest, for what it is, it's yeah. a pretty decent price, to yeah. be fair. Okay. We're good. All right. Thanks a lot. See you later. No problem.